What's going on guys? It's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to find missing files in Final Cut Pro. So, if you want to go ahead and leave a like, that will be awesome. And let's get started with the tutorial. First of all, if you go on Final Cut Pro and you have a lot of these errors in your event right here. Uh, this one says missing file. You might, you might have something else. But uh, I'm going to be showing you guys how to find those missing files if you know where they are. First of all, let me tell you why you get this error. The reason you get this error is because uh, Final Cut Pro can't find the lo the, the file, obviously. So let's say you have, um, you're have you working with um, footage from an external hard drive that you have to connect to your computer. All of the footage is on there and all the audio, music, and pictures. But uh, yeah, Final Cut Pro does need to locate the files in order for it to work. So if you were working from the external hard drive and you remove it, Final Cut Pro won't be able to find those files. And to find those files, it's very simple. Um, of course, if you know where they are, go to file and then go to relink files. And then relink files, a window will pop up just like this. And then it says relink clips to media files. It says relinking clips replaces the original media and updates all instances of the clips in the library film or whatever your name, the event name is called. To replace the media, locate files on your storage device and click relink files. You cannot undo this command. So you can't, of course, undo what you're going to do right now. But uh, let's say you have a lot of a lot of these errors on a lot of your clips. It'd be wise to click on all because it'd be quicker. And if you know where they are or if you don't and you want to select only one clip that has the error, in this case, this one here, it's a photo. I'm just go to missing and I'm going to select the file. OK, and this could be an audio, um, a song, of course. It could be a picture or a video. So once you have done that, um, if you go down and says zero of one files matched, that's because we haven't selected anything yet. So we're gonna go on locate selected, click on this button there. And then I know where the picture is. It's on my desktop. Here it is. And I'm gonna click on choose. And then it's gonna go ahead and replace it. So now it says uh, one of one file matched. It matched the same exact file. Also, if you rename the file, it will show up here as a missing file. So Final Cut Pro is very picky when it comes to this type of stuff. When you're ready, click relink files. And of course you can do that with every single one. And your file is now back to its original place and everything. Uh, so Final Cut Pro can be a little weird, but if you know another way to do it, please leave a comment down below. That would be much appreciated. If you found this video helpful in any way, please leave a rating below. Let's hit 200 likes and uh, I will catch you guys on my next video. Peace out, take care and enjoy your day.